All right, number 47, a fully loaded, slow-moving freight elevator has a cab with a total mass of 1,200 kilograms, which is required to travel upward 54 meters in three minutes, starting and ending at rest. The elevator's counterweight has a mass of 950 kilograms, and so the elevator motor must help. What average power is required of the force the motor exerts on the cab via the cable? Okay, so it tells me that the elevator starts and stops at rest. So my change in kinetic energy is zero. And using my favorite equation, the work kinetic energy theorem, I know that the net work is equal to the change in kinetic energy. So there uh, is three forces at work here. The force of gravity on the counterweight, the force of gravity on the elevator, and the force of the motor. The, uh, the work done by gravity is a constant force times distance. So the weight of 1,200 kilograms is 11,760. The weight of 950 kilograms is 9,310 newtons. And uh, multiply that times the distance, 54 meters that the elevator and the counterweight both move, will give me the work done by each of those forces. The work done on the uh, elevator is negative work because the elevator is moving upward, but the weight, the force acting upon it, is downward. So that's negative. Meanwhile, the counterweight, uh, the gravity is downward and the counterweight moves downward, so that's positive work. And then the motor, of course, is also doing positive work because it's exerting a force in the same direction that the cable and the system is moving. So these two are positive, this one is negative, and their uh, sum adds to zero because it starts and stops at rest. It's delta Ke is zero. So from that, I can find what the work done by the motor is, 132,000 joules. And the power then is the work divided by the time. But remember, the watt, which is our unit of power, is a joule per second, not a joule per minute. So don't divide by three minutes. You have to convert three minutes to seconds. So 180 seconds. That division gives me my answer of 735 watts is the rate at which energy is being provided to the system by the motor.